cinders, ashes, and clay. Whoever has to clean here has to give it all they've got. Whether with water pressure or dynamite, the dirt's got to go. The Schkopau lignite-powered fire station near Halle transforms coal into energy, enough to supply about 2 million households with electricity. For this purpose, the power plant runs 365 days a year, 24 hours a day. Up to 20 coal trains a day supply the necessary fuel. About 20,000 tons of lignite are processed here every day. And these are the men that have to keep the plant running. Mirko Wolfram and Frank Holm Novotnik's maintenance team works here at the power plant all year round, every day. The first job in the morning already requires heavy equipment. The mega vacuum cleaner comes into action. Mirko Wolfram is almost a little proud of this machine with its 7.8 inch pipe diameter, his ally in the fight against dirt. Yeah, basically that's what it is, an oversized vacuum cleaner. It's capable of sucking up 8,000 cubic meters of air volume per minute, and you're able to fit some pretty big things through the pipe as well. For example, we can easily hoover up a brick that's about 330 feet away. First cleaning job, the water treatment facilities. Various processes within the plant require water, which gets cleaned around the clock in one of the adjacent buildings. Normally, the leftover dirt from this process is taken away automatically. In this case, the leftover dirt is a clay-like mass. It's collected in a press, turned into a so-called filter cake and dropped into a sludge bunker. And here lies the problem. The conveyor belt in the bunker broke down last night. By morning, the sludge has already spread all the way to the door. About 8 cubic meters of dirt are waiting for the cleaning team. High time to activate the mega vacuum cleaner. The heavy, sticky mass is no problem for this machine's enormous suction power. Now we have to vacuum up the filter cake as quickly as possible so that the maintenance department can get in here, do the repairs and put the plant back into operation. After a good four hours of sweaty work, the job's finally done. Thanks to the enormous suction power, the bunker has been completely cleared. But the next job is already waiting. Time for some explosive cleaning. There's an emergency in the boiler house next door. Where coal is burned, ashes are produced. In a power plant, this happens in the boiler. Normally, the ashes fall down through a kind of funnel and can be removed. But sometimes, the funnel gets clogged. And that's exactly what's threatening to happen at the bottom of the boiler. Once ash is lying on the grate as a large lump of slag, it's possible that the narrow shaft is simply too small. And that's why Frank Holm Novotnik and his team now really have to go for it. Not a nice place to work. Hot, dangerous and unbearably loud. Our customer has commissioned us to blast away the slag we see back there in the upper grate area. The issue is that this lump weighs about two and a half to three tons. If this monstrosity blocks the shaft, part of the power station will have to be shut down. We can prevent this by setting up a very special explosive charge for this lump, and that's what we're going to do. The whole thing must be done while the plant is still running. But putting explosives into a fire at over 750 degrees Fahrenheit this really requires a specialist. The explosive in this case is ordinary dynamite, so there must be some trick. We're blasting here in an environment of 700 to 1000 degrees Fahrenheit, which really is something special. So we insulate our charge and cool our ignition wire. What the insulation actually is, well, that's a trade secret. The finished construction resists the extreme heat for four minutes. In this time, the explosives have to be put into position and everyone has to retreat to safety. The load is in front of a lance with which the explosive is then positioned. 
the sensitive ignition cable runs through the lance. This is the water cooling for our ignition cable. The lance itself is flooded inside. Safety measures are an absolute must given the extreme heat in the boiler. Thermal suits protect against possible flying sparks, but will this help if the explosives detonate too early? Until ignition, it must not get too hot, so cold water is constantly pumping through the lance from behind. But there's always a residual risk. The clock is ticking. The explosives are exposed to the heat. There are only four minutes left at most. The casing around the explosive burns after only a few seconds, but the charge has already been fixed onto the chunk of slag. The lance is secured, and now take cover everyone. The area around the boiler is now secured. Ignition. A huge fireball, but was the blast actually successful? For us, the result is hardly visible. But the boss is satisfied. In a very, very short time, whilst focusing on a high level of personal safety, we've eliminated this slag block and the conveyor can keep running. The boiler doesn't have to be shut down, operations can carry on normally at full capacity. The layer of slag is gone. Operation can continue. But the next job is already waiting. A job involving real pressure. Water pressure cleaning. When everything is working in the boiler, the ashes are transported away on conveyor belts and end up in a silo. This has to be serviced regularly. And it has to be clean. Not easy because the ashes, which are hot at the beginning, have to be extinguished with water before transport. Hence the name, wet ash silo. And as you would expect, it's really dirty in there. No one can fit through this dark and narrow shaft for cleaning, so only a special tool can help. That thing there. Here we have a tank washing head. The nozzles are attached to the washing arm here. This washing arm is then powered by the immense water pressure. And it can be moved in any direction. And these two rotational axes interact to create an image of complete chaos. By doing so, it really cleans every point in the container. 26 gallons are pumped through each jet per minute. At a pressure of just under 1,450 psi, the water shoots out of the tank washing head. About 10 times the pressure of a standard high-pressure jet washer from a DIY store. Not only is it going to be wet, but it's also going to be quite loud. At such high pressure, nothing and nobody should be in the immediate vicinity. There's the risk of personal injury and camera equipment can be destroyed. Well then, here we go. Water on. The water shoots out of every opening in the silo. After only 10 minutes, the whole thing is over. The cleaning water flows down from the empty silo. Successfully cleaned. The silo interior looks clean and shiny. And that's the end of the day for the cleaning team. The entire power plant is squeaky clean. With the help of mega high pressure, extreme suction power and big bangs, cleaning can be really fun. <laughs>